not only been using their voice to sing, but also to imitate uh, instruments and using them as an ensemble in, in, in groups. This was being done from 1920s, even 30s in the US. Uh, the Mills Brothers, I don't know if you've heard of this group, highly recommended. Very old recordings, maybe you can find them. It's very difficult, but maybe on the internet. The Mills Brothers is uh, one of the first, I think, recordings at least, that they have an instrument imitation. And, and maybe, maybe before this in Europe, uh, I have knowledge of some groups here in Europe that, have, that also were working with this kind of um, uh, technique. Um, one of the first thing, one of the things that is important is when you are uh, going to build an ensemble of, of uh, an instrument imitation of vocal play or a cappella, um, more contemporary a cappella, is to take uh, in consideration the vocal, vocal range, yeah, the tessitura. Vocal range is very important because we can have the bass having uh, imitating a bass, a contrabajo, a contrabaso. Contrabaso. And uh, in some, we have one song where he, he is the lead vocal and we have the baritone doing the bass, okay? But it's very important when you assign the instruments, you assign the instruments according to the vocal range, of course. Trumpets would be in the highest a vocal range, and then trombones or saxos would be in the middle ranges, and then the, the lowest range would be in the in the, in the bases. We also can do, each of us does a little bit of percussion, maybe in a song where uh, we need more than one person doing vocal percussion, and other members can do vocal percussion, yes? Um, um, another thing, an important thing is, when you're doing the instrument, you have to believe you are the instrument, not the instrument player. Not the player of a saxophone, not the, not the bassist, but you believe you are the instrument. This is a very important part because if we want to convince the audience that its uh, instrument sound, it's different to you. It's different being you, uh, being the, the instrumentalist, yes, than to be the instrument. This is very important technique. So when you are imitating the instrument, you have to believe you are the instrument your whole body, not just your, your throat or your voice, you are the instrument, yes? You have to um, believe yourself first and then you can convince others. It's easier this way, okay? Of course there is certain phonemas, I don't know what you call them, words, words that are related to certain instruments. For example, you can have um, in trumpets or wind instruments, let's say the trumpet, you can have certain uh, words that are, I would say, logical for the trumpet, because a la 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 does not sound like a trumpet, yes? <laughs> yes, it sounds more like la 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 but if you have a ba, or if you have ba, see, or, or bra, see, bra, these are words that are more believable as a trumpet, yes? Um, uh, saxophone, maybe, uh, saxophone could be fa, see, the fa, the, 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 this letter <coughs> sounds a little bit like the, the, like the awesome. opening and closing of the valves, yes? Fa, 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 and nozzle, and nozzle, yes. So, uh, you can, this, this also, this is, these are a few examples, but the, the most fun thing about uh, working in, uh, with onomatopoeia or, or phonema is that you can investigate more music, uh, different music. For example, uh, Polish mountain music. So we take, we listen to Polish mountain music, and we start picking out the instruments, the basic instruments. For us, we have to pick out the very, very essential instruments because we're only five, five cats. Yes, single, <laughs> single, but I So we have to essential get the most essential bass. Yes, uh, lead vocals if there's any vocals, and the the most um, protagonist, uh, or, or the biggest stars in this song, yes? In, in every section, yes? So we, we have to, our ensemble has to do very, very essential uh, instrumentation because we only have five members. But there are groups like uh, Audio Fields, which is eight members, I think, six, eight, seven, eight, which they can, they can easily have one bass, but they can have two percussions or uh, more harmonies, yes? More chances to do harmony. So it depends. But basically, when you are translating uh, music to uh, vocal play, you have to 
uh, see what kind of words would be assigned to certain instruments, string instruments, for example. Um, strings, uh, in, in, our, in our case, in Venezuela, we have an instrument called the cuatro, which is like the guitar, but it has four uh, strings, like the ukulele in Hawaii. Yes, the ukulele, ukulele. See, it's very similar. It's a little bigger than the ukulele. Um, it's not as heavy. The ukulele is a very, pretty heavy instrument. It's lighter, it's thinner wood, and it's very bright. So, um, not only violins or uh, um, uh, other string instruments, but for example, in the cuatro, we have songs with the cuatro we use uh, we can use kerren, kerren, which is the way the cuatro is played. It is strummed like this, you know. See? So this word would, would work for the cuatro. Maybe in, uh, in, uh, in reggae, uh, no, chink, no, it would be here, it would be C. Chink, chink. C. Chink, for example. Chink, chink. Is this right? Chink. Chink. Oh, the opposite. The opposite. Yes. Okay. <laughs> For example, chink, eh? or chinky, mm -hmm. you see? Chinky, chinky, chinky. It depends. So you can make your words and depending on what the rhythm you like, you know? Chink, 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 like reggae music. The, in fact, I don't know, but reggae music, the, 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 the word reggae comes from, the, from the, the sound of the guitar in reggae music, yes? They call it reggae music because the guitar goes So this word, reggae, was, the, was an onomatopoeia of the guitar sound. So, yes, so, so you can use many, many different uh, sounds or words to assign to rhythms, different rhythms. This would be more Venezuelan, que ren, que renquen, or frum pum. It depends. This is very investigative. This is a uh, this is the fun part because this is still in a very experimental uh, phase. Yes, because the typical phonemas are pom, you know, pom, 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 pom. Classical in Venezuela, uh, for example, old the sheet music from choirs have pom or rom tipling, no? Rom tipling, rom tipling. Daba daba is, is 60s, you know, more you know, swingle singer styles, and so. So these words have always been with us, yes? But now, maybe, depending on um, uh, the microphone use now, it's more microphone, more groups like us, since we're only five, then we have to use more amplification if it's a very big place, yes? Today, we will do without, uh, uh, without microphone. But also, the technique is important. The microphone technique combined with, this, with these words, and also using usage of hands, your body to make uh, different changes because, for example, my voice, I'm not doing anything to my voice, I'm just putting my hands here and now it sounds uh, a different sound without me doing anything at all, I'm just putting my hands here. So if you're going to do trumpets, you would prefer to use these words and you can place your hands over your face like this and that's it, you know. Ba, 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 ba. And your mouth, this is an A, right, we're using A's, but your mouth, your mouth, it should be uh, more in, in an O, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> so the sound, so you're making an A, but with your mouth in, in, in an O form. So you can get this sort of uh, uh, velvet sound, that's your velvet, like a silky, yes, like yeah. more, yes. So you can, you can use an A, but you can change, there's no rule. Uh, I don't have to put my mouth in an A form, I can put it in an O or an any shape, yes? And just placing your hands, if, like if you're going to catch water, you put them the same way, you put them right here on these lines, yes? You put them over like this. So you can use ba ba ba, pra ba ba ba, pra, see? Pra, pra ba 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 ba, pra ba 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 ba, this would be la 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 la, bra 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 bra, bra 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 bra, it's more throat, throat sound, it's not uh, you know, it's not the dia diaphragm or, or head sound. It's more throat, it's very dry sound, yes? And you look for the sound, yes? You listen to a real trumpet or a real saxo. Come in, come in, come in, no, no, come in. Come in, come in, yes, please. <laughs>
And so it, it, this is very this is very fun part because um, in we 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 should try to look for the sound and try to uh, make it uh, eat as 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 similar as we can. Yes, there are limitations. The piano we cannot imitate the piano because our size. Our, we have we would have to have a big head like this yes, <laughs> to make the resonance of the piano. And uh, also, but with the help of uh, digital uh, processors or something, maybe we can get close to the piano. Some instruments are are we have some limitations. The triangle I cannot imitate a triangle. It's very difficult, impossible I think. But I can imitate a cowbell. Yes, yes, I can imitate a cowbell. Oh, you can leave it open. No, no, okay, okay, what? Well, okay. Um, so let's do a little bit of uh, a little bit of a song, so you can hear these. A little few examples, and then we can start working with uh, with with a more practical workshop. Vamos a hacer algo. No sé Have uh, 
the, the harmonies, yes? Uh, besides the bass, it would be good. In this case, we have three voices, but I do a little bit of percussion, you know, like the, the rolls uh, between the chinkins and then. So I'm like multitasking, yes? Okay. <laughs> Um, otra, otra cosa ahí, el, el, el amor pudiera ser, uh, let's do a bolero, this was a reggae, obviously, by Bob Marley, Boba Marley, yeah? but we will do now a, a bolero, see, to demonstrate a little bit of the sound, from the sound. is a song that uh, uh, means uh, countryman doesn't dance salsa. Uh, he comes from the mountains, from the hills. So this this is a, a song that also does other sounds, more more folk, more folk music in Venezuela. <coughs>
See? So there. The most important and fun part of this is, is for you to translate. The process of translating is the funnest moment because then when it's all done, you know, you just you just teach the we, we are not professional singers. We don't live from singing, but we love it so much that we hope someday we could live off it, of course. <laughs> but um, Eliezer, for example, is a choir director in Venezuela, uh, simultaneously to being in score, and he directs the choir of uh, the science department, at, sorry, the engineering department of the University of Los Andes, ULA, is the name of the university that is in our city. It's a, it's a small city, but they say it's a big city. You say Mama Joana is a big city. It's not a big city. It's a big city? Mama well, yes. Which one? Merida? Merida. Yes, Merida. For our conditions, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, 800,000 population. But the, the el estado de la ciudad, la ciudad, sí. No, menor el estado. El estado. The, the whole state. So it's not that big. Merida is small. Um, um, so, so, uh, he's been a choir director many, many years. Well, not so many years. He's, we're all very young. So, and, and then we have Alejandro Fleitas, which is a public accountant working for the University of Los Andes in the science department, um, with, along with the director of the science department. Uh, also, we have uh, Jose Gregorio Moncada, alias Harry Potter, who is studying uh, graphic design. He's a uh, graphic design artist uh, to be. Yes, not artist, graphic designer to be. Um, Guillermo Mejia is uh, almost graduating. He's doing, he's doing his thesis right now. Uh, also, Jose Gregorio is doing his thesis, but he is uh, closer to graduation because he's a little bit older, not too much older. Uh, he's studying uh, cinematography. Yes, we have a. Uh, uh, oh, how do we call it? How do Yes, we have a, a Polanski here. Polanski. In, oh. in, 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 <laughs> in the making, in the making. Polanski to be. And uh, I am I am working uh, with a company in the U.S. but uh, in Venezuela. You know, phone and uh, email and blah, 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 all this. And I'm also a radio host in the afternoons. I have uh, I do I just do many things. <laughs> okay, so. We, we, we're not professional singers, so what I was going to say is that when I want to teach these boys the music that we want to do, I have, we have various methods besides sheet music, yes? Um, when we want to do something fast, uh, we, I, I work with vocal recordings. I record all their voices and I give them mm, uh, lyrics, uh, expression, and also the musical notes, all in one. So I give him the, his voice, I give him his voice, his voice, his voice. Well, I try to do his voice, but it's difficult sometimes. They laugh, he laughs at me. He's, he's listening to recording. <laughs> he can't do it. You know? But I try, yes. Yes. Then we, yes. Then we, then we do the ensemble. We learn first the, the, the song or the voice, our tracks, our voices. Then we do the ensemble. And then we start um, uh, polishing, yes? Polishing up everything so everything is, is you know, all the expressions uh, are, are equal. And uh, then we can do some modifications also. Because I can write, I'm Alejandro Lebel can write uh, any words like these, but then maybe Guillermo says, I can't do Kerenke. Kerenke is too difficult. But can I do uh, Kerenke? Okay, Kerenke is good. So we work out a deal, yes? And we start modifying. This is the fun process of, of translating. I get the most fun because I get to translate everything from salsa to voices or from reggae to voices. But sometimes, yeah, sometimes we have uh, collaborations or opinions from, you know, oh, why don't we do this here? Why don't we do that? So it's a very collaborative um, uh, effort, yes? Um, um, what else? Um, yes, okay. Um, let's. <laughs> okay, let's start, for example, with uh, uh, trumpet sounds. But let's try to imitate the trumpet sound. Remember, you have to believe you are the instrument, not the trumpet player. You're not Louis Armstrong. You're not, uh, yes, Dizzy Gillespie. No, you're uh, the trumpet. Yes, you are the trumpet. And we are, we are going to try to, yes, we're going to try to um, use 
for example, these uh, very basic uh, phonemas or words to imitate a, a, a trumpet or a wind instrument, yes? Metal wind instrument, yes? So uh, let's take our hands, like when we wash our faces in the morning, yes? And we put them on our face like this, not pressing, no, just putting them like this is fine, yes? And already, by putting your, your hands on your face, you already have a, an imitation of the, the, the form, yes, of the shape of the trumpet. Because the, the shape of the trumpet is like this, or the wind is right? So these are like your hands, yes? So we are, without doing anything here, or anything here, or here, or here, when you just put your hands in your, on your face, you are already uh, helping with this shape, yes? You are making a, a sort of trumpet or a saxophone or a trombone. So let's just put our, let's say our name, say your name, Alejandro, Alejandro. Alejandro. Uh, your name. Say your name. What is your name, for example, without your hands? What is your name? Agnieszka. Agnieszka. Okay, Agnieszka, Agnieszka, you say it. Agnieszka, Agnieszka. Okay, so it's, it's already changing, yes? But, um, <laughs> now we're going to try, for example, the, this word. So you say, pa, pa, normal pa, without the uh, nasal sound, or just pa, 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 pa. Now we do not the A, we do not the A, now we do an A, but your mouth like this. Here in Poland, we've seen many crows, and in Venezuela, the only crows we see are in the Edgar Allan Poe books. The only crows. We don't see crows ever. Yes? We see uh, turpiales, vultures, we see many other birds. Uh, in condors, in the Andes, where we live, we live in the mountains, Andes mountains, we see condors, we see hawks, but no, no crows. So this sound, maybe the crow is imitating this trumpet sound, yes? It's a more, yes, it's a more throat sound, yes? Sound, this should move a little more when you do the haw, and maybe a little bit of, 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 of nasal sound, yes? A little bit of nasal sound. A little more nasal sound, yes, no nose, yes, ba, ba, a little bit. Ba, 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 ba. Which maybe you've seen already. Uh, Alejandro likes to. 